What's up everybody, I'm John, I'm and on today's episode of Cars and Cameras, we are buttoning up the 440cc two-stroke Murray and taking it out for a rip. We have to finish mounting the exhaust, install a fuel tank and fuel line, wire up a kill switch, and we're gonna be ready to go. I have to either clamp this or spot weld this uh, expansion chamber to our custom header. Um, we need to work on our throttle cable. The throttle pedal isn't pulling as far as we want to for the uh, carburetor, so we might have a turbo boost here. I don't want to do that, but if, if we have to, we have to. Um, install the seat and the fuel tank. Fuel tank's gonna go right here, man. Uh, then she should be ready to fire up and go. I'm very excited. Me too. So we have just a few things left to do on the 440 Murray, including the exhaust, mounting the fuel tank, seat, and throttle cable. We got a nice new crispy camera. Let's do a montage. I really wanted to attach this exhaust to this frame to keep the vibration down. But I don't think we have a clamp, dude. But for testing purposes, she should be good to go. Brakes. Do we need brakes? Solid. This is great, but the only thing I don't like about it is if we roll it, we can roll it onto the tank and crush the tank. So, extra precautions, bud. Yep. With that being said, are we ready? No. We gotta hook up the fuel line. Uh, throttle cable. And are we worrying about the brake right now? Uh, we should. Okay. Shouldn't we? Probably should. Ready? Well, we should have a break. Did we want to tack this into place? Yeah, let's tack it. I mean, 75 horsepower, right?
chain? Lost the chain. We broke the chain. We broke the chain. Here it is. Um, did we lose the link? I'm gonna guess we lost the link, man. I thought I had it hooked up right. I mean, right, well, it's just a uh, sign. Uh, the vibrations are terrible. The exhaust is broken. Oh, yeah, look, look at that. All right. Like, dude, I'm pretty sure Matt told us. He was like, you need to rubber mount that thing or it'll break. Well, I mean, here, here's the reason why he wants it rubber mounted. The torque converter is shot on it. Oh, okay. The exhaust is broken. Dude. Yikes. Okay. At least we got to ride it. At least you got to ride it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bummer. It feels pretty impressive. The vibrations are so bad. You see, you see how bad that torque converter is wobbling. Yeah, at idle. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's terrible wide open. So, uh, there's something wrong with that torque converter. We should see if that other one will fit. I, the other one is rusted solid. We got to take it apart and let's do it. Right? Okay. All right. Uh, was it worth it? Oh yes. This whole build, dude. Yes. I mean, it looks real quick. All right. It, there are only one or two moments where I was like really focusing on you and not filming, but uh -huh. those two moments it looked very, very fast. Yeah, dude. It's uh, with what do you think? We have half throttle. Yeah, we have half throttle with the gas pedal, and then you gotta pull the. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little, a little sketchy. Yeah. So, uh, dude, it's 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 worth it. I'm, I'm happy with it. Torque converters out of whack. How quick is it though? In comparison with our other projects. We get that torque converter fixed, and get the exhaust settled in there. I'd put it up against the cross cars. No kidding. Yeah. And this took us like a tenth of the time as the cross guard. <laughs> Alright, dude, let's try to fix it. Alright. Well, I think we ought to look in the torque converter. Because even if we were to weld this up, this exhaust up again, it's probably going to crack again from all the vibration. So, uh, and, and you can look at the torque converter and see how bad it's out of whack so that is definitely going to be a problem uh pry bar well you don't want to pry on it too much because uh it's aluminum it don't look like it's budging dude so while ike's messing with the torque converter i'm gonna throw a new chain on the 440 murray I'm throwing the old chain out. This is cheap chain. Uh, we we're making too much power for at least the master link in our test. So I'm using racing chain from gopowersports.com. I didn't want to use it the first time because it's our last package, uh, but this should hold up just fine for us. It is pre-stretched and it should hold up better than that cheap chain. So check it out at a link in the description of this video. Anything you run in uh, with 420 chain that you want to be reliable for a very long time, I recommend you check this stuff out. And let them know in the checkout at Go Power Sports that Cars and Cameras sent you. Man, I'm uh, trying to find a uh, new primary torque converter, because, I mean, so you have that, that forward and backwards movement too, which is, you got all these rollers shifting. It is so wore out when we get going it, it'll shift to one side and create such a vibration it rips the exhaust off so uh, we really need to find a new primary uh, clutch or whatever you want to call it cvt do we want to look at the one on the other 440 we can check, but that one's in terrible shape too. It might be in better shape than this one, but it, it's so rusty. Um, it's locked up. Yeah. So, but it, it doesn't matter. We need a special tool to pull this one off this engine. Might even need a special tool for that one. But we can take that one off and just kind of take a look at it. Let's do that. Okay.
we can't get either torque converter off because you have to have a special tool. We ordered the special tool, but that's, you know, five days away. Five days away. So. We, hey, we got a first ride in. It is really quick, even with partial throttle. Yep. So, you know, a lot was, of wind. I was grinning. A lot of wind. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> it was good. It feels good, man. Like, starting off, like, with, like, half, is it half throttle? Yeah. Starting off from a, a dead get, it's not that powerful, but then when the engine RPM start to go up, you start to feel it kind of pulling oh, and stuff. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. It's, I wish it's, I got a chance to ride it. I know, man. Um, the power I was, band. Yeah, I was grinning from ear to ear. It's a shame I had the helmet on because yeah. you could have seen it. But Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video today, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, check us out in between videos on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out at Isaac. It'll be fine. Of course, support the channel and our future projects by picking up a t-shirt at cars-cameras.com or a hoodie. It's winter time. Of course, use gopowersports.com for all your go-kart, mini-bike, and power sports needs. Uh, they hooked us up with some racing chain in today's video, and that should last a lot longer than the cheap stuff we had on it. I'm uh, looking forward to this project and kind of all the stuff we have going on. So thanks for watching again, and we will see you next time.